Hello, welcome to this presentation. Apparently you can't finish this in one hour, so I tried this last night and I couldn't get it done, so I'm going to try to get this done faster and try to make this as quick as possible. Um, I'm also trying not to cut everything out because if I have to edit the video, that means I have to, like, you know, the file's too large, so I'm going to try to finish this in one cut. But just wanted to say um, all pictures are mine except for diagrams. Like, this picture is mine, so don't steal it, please. Yeah. Anyway, I know more than anyone else does if you click on another video, which explains this entire redesign. Everyone's just going to be looking at the map for five hours, just to interpret it for four hours, and then use one hour to explain it. And then in one of those 30 minutes, they're just, they just don't know what they're saying. So we're going to start off with the intro. So uh, obviously, you know, in the past year, they did the new draft plan, and then we have uh, the new draft plan. and I'm just going to sum up this part because there's like 30 slides to explain the intro before we actually get to the route, prof route profiles. But we've been doing a lot of research, a lot of uh, data analysis and all that. Um, data outreach, public outreach, all this, blah, 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 blah. If you want to keep reading it, you can. I'm not going to. But here are the main four uh, customer priorities. Uh, so basically, there's reliable service, fast travel. Uh, better connections and simplified service. So you gotta make sure to make it understandable. Here is what they found out that you wanted. So customers were concerned with the proposed certain proposed routings like the Q10, which combined together with the Q64 on Jewel Avenue and Queens Boulevard, so kept extending north. The Q23 route realignments, which basically the proposed Q23, instead of going down to Forest Hills, it continued on Kew Gardens all the way to Fresh Meadows via Union Turnpike with the Q46. And route shortening's example are the Q17. It didn't go to Jamaica. That's what they found out. Route proposals that were well received, the Q51 on Linden Boulevard. And others caused concern, the Q73. On the top of my head right now, I don't remember where the Q73 went. But um, obviously, there were like new interborough routes. So these routes traveled between the two boroughs, um, B57, B62, the Q51, and the Q78. And other direct connections lost, they were concerned with the loss of direct connections to community destinations, schools, college, to commercial districts, shopping malls, and accessible transit connections like the Q23, the Q25, the Q39, and the Q88. I don't know if the space bar hitting is really loud. I think it is. I'm going to start hitting that quietly. I'm so sorry. Um, customers were more receptive to uh, the bus stop balancing, so commenters were able to provide specific feedback on what stops are important. Um, so schedule changes, so like there may be specific requests for specific frequency or span of service, and riders were able to determine how their bus trips may be impacted and provided service feedback. So uh, customers were concerned on uh, some routes uh, to operate on problematic streets. For example, those routes could be the Q1, the Q10, the Q19, the Q25, and the Q73. Um, this is, yeah, this is it. All right, we're going to talk about the route types. I think we did this last year, so I don't really have to go too much into this. You got the point. There's local buses. You see them every day. They're, they're technically not... I don't think they would be called local anymore because, you know, everybody's getting stop spacing. Like, you're, you're basically everything is expressed at this point. You got the rush types, limited, select bus, and the express buses. Now, I wanted to say if you'd usually take an express bus and you're watching this video for an express bus, that was the most careless part of this presentation. So I may have missed out on some things. So just so you know, just letting you know about it right now. But... Yeah, this little diagram, I'm not going to show you much about that, but here are 91 local, 27 rush, 17 limited, and 5 SPS. And then, uh, here is the frequency chart. So, right now, this is what is currently available. If there's, like, dashes, that means it's a new route, so there's no current, any, we don't have anything right now. Blue shows, represents the new frequencies, the new routes. Um, green is just the same, green is the increase, white is just the exact same. And then yellow would be decreased. So in order to, de to determine this, some have a good reason for this. So like, for example, um, you have the Q4 and Q5, which I can explain, because you're getting two more routes on Merrick Boulevard, so that's why. 
The Q43, you got an extra Q1 local there. Uh, to increase service here on the local Hillside Avenue, so that's why you got the Q43 there. Um, you're just losing one trip. This is every 20 minutes, but you're getting better service on the Q18. That's why. Um, another thing right here is the Q46. You're getting a little decrease in service because uh, you have new uh, you have a new combined service with the Q45 and the Q48, which we'll explain later. Um, but many will but many will like get like increased for here. Just start, yeah, I remember this. This starts five minutes early for the Q72. I remember that. All right. And then Q111, you're also getting decreased because you're getting new Q115 service on Brewer Boulevard. So that's why. Um, here is what's happening on the express routes. So there's going to be a new QM65, and we'll be discontinuing the QM3 because no one uses it. All right, next one is yeah, that. So you have your little decrease and your increase. Um, Westbound, yeah, there's, no, I don't think there's anything right now, right, there's nothing, yeah, the same thing, okay, alright, I don't, I don't really want to go too quick with this, so there's gonna be, uh, right now, they they plan on every 30 minutes, alright, and then, yeah, I don't think there's any, like, expanded to all day service, yeah, they don't have that, All right, we're going to talk about the route profiles. I think that's what everybody's been waiting for. I don't know if I'm going to do like chapters for each route. I may do that unless I get lazy and do stop halfway because I remember that when I did that with the Q11 the one day. All right, so here's the map. I can't zoom in and show you every single number like they did. Maybe when the actual map comes out, but for right now though, I'm going to explain this real quick. So basically, you have to zoom in to a specific location you have to wait for the numbers to load in, all the letters, all the numbers to load in, before you can actually see the rep. Like, everything has to load in. I don't know why the file is so large, but that's what happens. Um, Alright, so here's the route r routes that remain with the same routing. I had a feeling that there was going to be like six routes or seven routes that were going to have the same routing, but no, I took out I took two pages out, which is crazy. So here's what's going to happen. Here's uh, the following routes that will be the same. The Q2, Q3, Q4 Limited. Because not Q4 local, Q4 local goes a different way uh, in Jamaica. Q5 limited, and the Q5 to Green Acres. I know I'm going to explain that in, the, in about five minutes, so ex wait for that. Q6, Q9 with an extension, the Q10 limited, the Q16 that goes on Utopia only, the Q17, the Q19, I'm just going to say the numbers now, 25, 28, 29, 32 eastbound, not westbound, to Manhattan. 40, 42, 43, 44 select bus, 46, 49, 50 with an extension, 52 and 53, 54, 55 with an extension. They call it an extension. I don't call it that, uh, but there it is. 56, 58, 60 eastbound only, not westbound to Manhattan. 64, 66, 70, 72, 77 with an extension, 83, 84 limited, 85 limited. Uh, and 85 trips to Green Acres in 88, 104, 111, 112 in extension, and 114. Um, here are the new routes. Um, yeah, here. Q14, Q45, Q48, not the LaGuardia one. Q51, 50, 61, 62, 63, 75, 82, 86, 87, 98, 105, 115, and the QM65. I feel I have a feeling I missed out on something here because I was like switching back and forth between this slide and the the latest slide, so that's why it may I may have missed something here. So let me know. Probably did. Here are the discontinued routes. I saw there were like barely any, so I just added this here. I didn't put the express routes because there were barely any, but here Q21, Q34, the Q48 currently to LaGuardia, the Q100, the Q102, and the Q113 and the QM3. Alright, we're going to go to the route profiles now. I'm going to mainly talk about the routing, not the frequency. If you want to do the frequency, you should definitely read it yourself. Or you can... I'll, I'll, I'll touch on it like a little bit if I do have time. If I if I do get to it, I'll, I'll, I'll touch on a little bit of it. But basically, I'll talk about the routing. So they're not going to go to 160th Street Terminal. And one thing when I was rehearsing this yesterday five times is that they're probably moving the terminal 
the terminal, the 165th Street terminal, because people were talking about how the rent was like going down and like people at the shops there were like were like ending. I don't know much about it. I don't really. I, I barely go there, but uh, that's what's happening apparently. Um, trips on Springfield Boulevard and Jamaica Avenue will be discontinued, but the bus will extend to Jamaica Long Island Railroad to provide uh, local service on with the Q43. So this would run alongside the Q43. Um, this would have a significant frequency increase and would still operate 24/7. Um, we did touch on the Q2 the other uh, last year, and it's the same thing. So there's going to be um, it's going to be a rush route. So no stops will be made on 188th and 187th Place and Jamaica Avenue and the 163rd Street Terminal. So here's the thing I noticed a lot of with the, with these diagrams is for some reason they turn off at 169th Street. And I assume this is where the new terminal is, not 165th. I don't quite know. So don't don't ask me right now where the terminal is, because I think they're moving it, but the, it, it, it's just not clear right now. But, um, but right now, no stops will be made between this corridor on Hillside Avenue, except on 187th, 179th, and 169th, and then 169th, and I think this is 89th or 90th Avenue. Now that I didn't do my research, I'm sorry. Uh, Q3, so as you can see, they just terminate here at 169th, which is kind of weird. I'm going to have to f do more digging when they when they figure that out next year or something like that. But the Q3 will remain the same everything, uh, but the frequency will be increased every single day. Um, the Q4 local service on Archer Avenue and Merrick Boulevard would be discontinued, and you would go down 160th Street and Liberty Avenue, as the Q4 Limited currently does. There's going to be stops at Linden Boulevard, no, sorry, Linden Boulevard and Merrick Boulevard, Merrick and 111th, uh, Merrick and, no, I thought I didn't do my research, 107th, I think, and then at, in front of your college at um, Liberty and Merrick, and then Jamaica Center. So frequencies will be slightly decreased, as I mentioned earlier, to make more room for the Q86 and Q87. And then in combi in combination, Q Merrick Boulevard would see a an increase in combined service with all of these six routes. Congratulations. Q4, Q5, Q84, Q85, Q86, and Q87, which we'll talk about there. And yeah, a little bit of a decrease, but to make more room for like you'll you're gonna get more service, okay? You're gonna it's gonna be more reliable. Um also it's not gonna extend to Elmont, it's just gonna remain at Cambria Heights, by the way. I don't know if anyone noticed that. But as I said, the Q5 did remain the same routing, I think I said that, but people were like, why, why did you put it there? That's because the Q87 is going to go the exact same way as the Q5 does, it's just a new number. So, the Q87, which I'll explain later, is just a different number labeled. It's going to go to Green Acres via Merrick and Hook Creek, it's the exact same thing. But Merrick, but the current Q5, which uh, will end at 233rd Street, uh, some trips actually right now, do end at 233rd Street. You may notice that the sign says 231st Street, but it actually ends at 233rd Street. Um, and right now, uh, it's just going to operate between the most uh, congested, uh, concentrated place in Merrick Boulevard, where the ridership is heaviest. Uh, you'll see a decrease in frequency, but that's because, obviously, you got to make room for like all six bus routes that you're going to get. Congratulations. Um, Q6 Riders, congratulations, you got your route back, um, because last time we spoke about this, it was completely discontinued. Uh, the Q7 is going to end at the JFK Travel Plaza, because, and not go to the Cargo Plaza and Cargo area because of low ridership, you should use the Q3. Um, and it's also going to go to a new part of the Western Queen, uh, Western Rockway Boulevard, so it's going to connect with the... Jay-Z, 75th Street, Elder Clean Station. I should stop making these jokes, but I feel like I have to. Um, people were like, why does the Jay-Z... I, I don't know what, what that guy was trying to say. Like, why is it why is it called the J and the Z train? And then the guy's like, oh, because the rapper Jay-Z was born in Brooklyn. That's why it's the Jay-Z train. I don't, I don't know what that joke came from, but... Anyways, um, so if you would use Sutter Avenue and Pitkin Avenue... You the Q112, which would extend to this. Very nice. Um, so, as you can see, the terminal here on Q8 is also 168, so I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if they just drew the map wrong, or they're actually moving there, but 
The proposed QA would not go to Spring Creek Gateway Mall and would go to the new Lots Avenue 3 train station, not the L train station. Um, you would use the new B13. Um, did I mention the oh, frequencies would also be uh, increased on weekdays, by the way, to 10 minutes or better. All right, and then no span changes. Uh, so the same thing right now. Um, the Q9 will remain the same, again, an extension. Um, it's a, there's a discontinued part, but this is the layover, so it doesn't really count. Um, as you can see, the terminal has been moved over here, so th that's another thing, by the way. Um, what else? Yeah, rush stops. Um, if you know those stops, I don't know those stops. Um, the Q10 Limited will run, but not the Q10 Local, so you can use the Q9, Q7 and Q9 respectively. So uh, the Q7 on Rockway Boulevard, the Q9 on... 130th Street and the Q37 on Pan Am Road. Um, what else? So you the Q10 would overall see an increase in service. So you would you would see more Q. So you would see 24-hour service on this part of Lefferts Boulevard now, south of Rockway Boulevard. So it's no longer like you got to go all the way around here. But all right. So the Q11 originally only operated between Ozone Park and the two beaches. Um, but now it's going to uh, override Q21 service. So yeah, um, what's happening is it's going to go on 157th Avenue, go through Lindenwood to replace the Q21 existing. And oh, during late nights, it's going to also end at the 157th Avenue. So you're getting a little bit of an extension, I guess you could call it. Um, for right now, though, it says 157th Avenue, I assume. Don't, don't confirm on this, but I assume it's where the QM15 currently ends during the day, which is 157th Avenue and Cross Bay Boulevard. That's what it's... It says 157th Avenue, but it doesn't say specifically which intersection. I would assume 157th Avenue and Cross Bay Boulevard. Um, so, to get this prop... Oh, by the way, uh, service would up... Yeah, still, frequencies would be increased to uh, match both 11 and 21, by the way. Um, so, the Q12 and Q13 are swapped west of 165th Street, by the way. Um, so the Q12 would make, would go on northern, west of 165th, and then on Union and the Roosevelt. Um, weekday and everyday frequencies would be slightly adjusted, and it's still going to operate 24 hours, I think, yeah. The Q13 would still, uh, would have rush stops, so it's going to stop at... Let's start from Flushing. So Flushing, Main Street, Sanford and Parsons, Sanford and 150th. There's not actually a stop here. I, I was here like 10 minutes ago, actually. No, 20. I'm, I'm kidding, an hour ago. But I think that's supposed to be 156. And then Sanford and 162nd, where the Q65 diverges off. The Sanford and, no, sorry, Northern and Utopia, Northern and Francis Lewis, and Northern and... Clearview Expressway in Northern and Bell. So it's going to be the same. So this is key destinations and major, major intersections. I have no idea why I included the old Q14 from last year. Uh, it, it's probably like a bad cause here. You should follow. You should listen to this one because this one doesn't even make any sense anymore. Outdated, I'm sorry. So the Q14 would be... Oh, also I'm supposed to like predict depots if they change. I think this is going to be still College Point. It's, I think it's still going to take over because LaGuardia's got too much on their hands. LaGuardia Depot's got too much on their hands. So I think it's College Point Depot that's taking over this route. That's doing this route. Um, so the Q14 would be the north part of the Q23. And then you got the Elliott branch of the Q38. Um, Penelope would still be maintained by the Q38. But uh, you got your northern part and southern part like that. The Q14 is just a combination of both, um, and it would still operate during during the same hours as the current Q23, so I believe till like 5 a.m. to 1 a.m. or something like that. So operate th during those hours, but the Q23 will operate 24-7, um, and you're going to get 24-hour service on the Q23 when it operates between Corona and Forest Hills, which I'll explain later. But uh, if you take the Q23 or the Q38, both... All stops will be served, except for Hor Horace Harding Expressway. That's what, one thing. But anyway, 
any questions, just let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll try to reply them in the comments. The Q15 is going to... This is the old terminal of the Q14 from the budget cuts, but anyway, I don't want to confuse anyone. Um, so it's going to be the same routing all the way here, except... But if you use the Q15... Oh, oops, sorry, my bad. On uh, Cross Island Parkway, 154th, and Powell's Cove, take the Q62. If you use this area, you should take the Q62 in the first place. I know there's like a really big like side that they take, but Flushing Airport's not doing so good when they abandoned. So that's what that's what's going on. So this would be maintained. You would just walk from walking distance and just do that. So if you use any, if you use the Q62, you can. There's not gonna make it's not gonna make any stops, so you're, you'll probably be really quick. Um. Sunday frequencies would be increased. Um, the Q16 would maintain its existing routing, but only serve Utopia Parkway. So, it says that it's going to reduce. I thought they were going to increase. Oh yeah, weekday frequencies because of the Q61. The Q61 will only operate on weekdays, by the way. Um, they should probably increase service because, you know, there's like more trips off the trips of Francis Lewis now, but anyway. Um, the Q17 would maintain a, its existing routing, so nothing's going to change with the routing or the frequency span except st uh, stop spacing. I don't know if I actually mentioned that, by the way. Only select bus routes will not have stop removals. I don't know if I said, if I said that yet. Oh, I just clicked the black screen. I, I just learned this the other day. Um, if you click B, it goes to a black, and then if you go to, like, Comma is like white. I just I just learned that. I didn't know that because I was like randomly clicking buttons during the presentation. And I was like, oh my god, what happened? And then what happened? I just don't even. I don't even know what's going on. Anyway, Q18 remains the same. I think we mentioned this as well. So instead of a left, right, left, right section in 50th Avenue, 53rd, and J Avenues, uh, so it's gonna continue on 65th Place. Weekday frequencies are slightly adjusted. Select time periods and service spans will re uh, remain the same. Q19 is also going to remain the same. Everything is going to remain the same except stop spacing. The Q20, oh, here we go. So, first of all, the Q20A and Q20B would not run. Or, no, it's going to be like, re how do they call it again? Relabeled, I guess? Yeah, relabeled. So, first, let's start here because this is where the mess is. Uh, so, it's going to have a more direct connection into Jamaica, so it's instead of serving Hillside and Sub Finish, it's going to go on, I think this is Jamaica Avenue, yeah, this is Jamaica Avenue, and then uh, this is Queens Boulevard, uh, now up to here, it's going to serve Linden Place and Mitchell Gardens instead of Union Street to uh, revive Q34 service there, um, and then instead of 20th Avenue, you would use the Q62 or Q76, uh, bus service will operate on 14th Avenue, so now, Congratulations, 14th Avenue, you have 24-7 service, uh, because originally the Q20B only operates from like the morning to the night, so on weekdays, so now you have 24-7 service on 14th Avenue, so congratulations. Alright, we have our first discontinua uh, discontinuation, which is the Q21. Um, so the Q22 would be shortened um, west of Beach 116th Street, you would use the um, we do have a confirmed school tripper, though, which is the Q35, which would start near Beach 108th. And frequencies would be slightly adjusted, okay. Q23, so this is obviously by the Q14, we already saw this. And then it's gonna, like, do this little U-turn around. This would be maintained. I don't know about the school tripper right here at Forest Hills High, but it would probably end at Roosevelt, right? I'm going to stop talking about the frequencies. Oh, also they'll operate 24 hour, 24 7 by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I did. Um, so it's going to, Q24 is going to discontinue at uh, west of Broadway Junction. You would use the B53, which is kind of unnecessary because it's just under the tracks. But you would use the J train. I don't know why they even made this because during late nights the B53 only operates under the tracks. So I don't know why they made this. But anyway. Uh, it would also avoid Jamaica Hospital to avoid congestion, and you would use the Q54 and Q56, and also end at 89th Avenue and Parsons Boulevard. 
Q25 routing would uh, remain the same, but weekday frequencies are also increased to resemble the original Q25 and Q34 service combined. I think they honestly, I think they're good enough because no one because they ever because I already seen those. I think they have enough. I don't think they need to increase service. I don't think they need to. Cause they got maybe maybe they do because they got because what I thought was they originally had they still have a limited service so like that's why I thought maybe you don't need to increase it but all right all right so the current Q twenty six only operates during school hours if you don't notice which is kind of weird when I first saw this but because you've got like because you're combine you're making one route into like two sections you're starting off with this. Which no one uses barely. This is a school route, and it only runs during school hours, or it's just a rush hour route. I don't know what to call it. And then you've got the most congested place of all, where every single bus has like 70 people. Like, before you even leave, it, 70 people. I track this every single day. But anyway, the Q26 is going to take over College Point, and the Q65 routing. It's also going to have like a, before it approaches flushing, it's going to go on. Continue on Sanford, Casina, and Main Street instead of Bowen Street and Roosevelt. Alright, so the Q27 uh, will shorten a little bit here in Cambria Heights, but that's okay. It's going to shorten in um, Linden Boulevard. And then over here, it's going to follow the Q26 routing. So here we have some rush stops at Casina and Sanford. Uh, Parsons in 45th, I think. 46th and Pigeon Meadow Road, 46th or 46th and um, Utopia, and then 47th and Hollis Court. Um, it's no longer going to go on Holly because Holly Avenue is really narrow. And, yeah. Holly Avenue is really narrow. I don't know if, I don't know if anyone notices that. Um, and then the service is going to continue to Oh, also overnight, when the Q26 is now... Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Overnight, the Q26 operates between College Point and Main Street. It does not operate to Fresh Meadows, because no one uses it overnight. But it's going to operate 24-7. So that means overnight, the Q27 is going to make local stops, just so you know. Um, I don't know if anyone noticed that. The Q28 is going to maintain the same routing, but stops at 39th and 138th. Union and Northern... Northern and 150th, and then Northern and 100 and... What is this? This is 162nd, so I don't know what that is. 156, I guess? 158? Q29 is revived, I think. Was it gone? Discontinued? I don't remember. But it's it's back. What ha I think what happened was, last time we, we talked about this in the new draft that they made, they, discontin they discontinued the 29, made the 21 go to the 29 in Jackson Heights, and that's what happened. I don't know if anyone knows that, but Q30 is going to discontinue east of the Queens Community College, but it's going to make rush stops on Utopia Parkway and Jamaica and Archer. Don't know what those are. Also, a little uh, discontinuation on 170th and 169th. Um, if you want to use Horse Harding Expressway, use the Q75, which starts on 188th, so you can start transferring there. Um, the Q31 would provide a new connection to the Bay Terrace Shopping Center. Um, that's what's happening. I don't know what's happening with right, left, and then left, right, left, right over here. I don't know why they did that. I guess it was connect to connect Bayside, but it does kind of make sense because people here at Bayside High, and then they got to travel down. That's a little bit of a hassle. Um, what is this added service here? I don't, I don't know what this added service is. I don't know, what, what was added here? What was added here? No idea. Um, weekday frequencies would be slightly adjusted. Same hours. Q32, now I mentioned that eastbound was normal. That's because if you go into Manhattan, now I'm going to say this for the Q60, but I'll say it again later. Um, it will no longer make stops at Queens Plaza because there's like this really right left section, this really big area deviation because it gets on the service road before it crosses into, across the bridge. But now you will no longer, like, it's just going to go straight onto the bridge. So, like, that's, yeah. But the Q80, uh, but anyway, the Q33 
uh, would swap with the Q47. So the Q33 is returning to Guardi Airport. Congratulations. Um, the Q47 is going to replace the East Elmhurst part. Saturday evening frequencies would be slightly adjusted and still 24 hours. Oh, we have our second discontinuation. The Q34. I don't know when the next time we'll even see a Spectrum on the Q34, so uh, you're welcome. Alright, so this is a pretty fast route here. As we can see, the Q35 will only make a few stops in Brooklyn. Only three stops in Brooklyn. So it's going to go all the way to... Uh, Scholars Academy at Beach 108, so we have our first school tripper, unless it just actually terminates at in front of the school. And then, instead of Newport, it's going to go on Rockaway Beach Boulevard. I think it should have maintained the Newport part, because, you know, it's the same walking distance. Anyway, only three stops in Brooklyn. You have the Brooklyn College, uh, Flatbush and Kings Highway, Flatbush and, um... Actually, not three stops in Brooklyn. I'm dumb. It could, have, it could make stops in uh, the, what's the, what's that called? Floyd Bennett Field? Yeah, Floyd Bennett Field, I think. Yeah, right here. It, it could make stops here that, that just don't show up. I'm dumb. Um, as well as, uh, King's Plaza. So, you have a rush section right here. Not three, not three stops in Brooklyn. Don't, please ignore that. Um, the Q36 would, instead of 212th, it would operate on Springfield Boulevard, and... It's not always going to operate on Little Neck, Little Neck uh, weekdays, obviously, but other times it will terminate at Floral Park. Uh, the Q110 is also going to maintain the new part. The 212 would operate as the Q82 now. The Q82 will also go to the 165th Street Terminal, so don't worry about that. Uh, so the Q37 would extend south to Pan Am Road. Also reducing the amount of the amount of turns and remaining on Rockway Boulevard and Lefferts Boulevard. Uh, the Q38 will only operate on the Penelope branch, not the Elliott branch. So it will no longer be a loop route. Alright, so the Q39 would avoid Court Square area and just go directly to Queens Plaza. Because there's a lot of looping around 44th Drive, 23rd Street, and 43rd Avenue. Alright, so I was going to talk about this because they really didn't make a good reason when they first made the new draft. So, obviously, there's narrow roads on 142nd, and they decided to make it... I think they made, like, one direction go on 142nd and one go on 143rd. Um, I guess they scrapped that plan because... I don't know, but they scrapped that plan. So, everything was going to remain the same except for rush route uh, stops. Alright, so the Q41 is just going to stay, remain on directly on Sutton Boulevard and 109th Avenue. And then avoid 127th Street and Atlantic Avenue. Alright, so the Q42 is going to remain the same. I think a few stops are going to be removed. And weekday frequencies are going to be slightly adjusted in time, in some time periods. And service will operate in the same hours. The Q43 is going to only stop at major transfer points west of Springfield Boulevard, and you'll see stops at 212th, Springfield, Francis Lewis, 188th, 179th, 169th, 164th, Parsons Boulevard, Sutphin and Hillside, and Jamaica Long Island Railroad. So it would be slightly decreased because there's local service on Hillside Avenue provided by the Q1. Um, the Q44 is going to remain the same. It's no longer going to propose to go to Fordham Plaza. And as I mentioned earlier, the Q20 had a direct connection in Jamaica, but that's not going to be for the Q44. Nothing is changing about the Q44. Alright, so the Q45 is a new route. It's going to provide connect, uh, service on the most um, crowded areas of Union Turnpike and Fresh Meadows to connect with the subway. So, 188th Fresh Meadows to Kew Gardens. And you would see rush limited stops on the Q46 and Q48 west of 188th Street. So, proposed to be 10 minutes or better all day on weekdays, and service would operate 24-7. Uh, so, the Q46, as you can see, it would make um, 
certain stops at major transfer points on the queue uh, on Union Turnpike west of 188th Street. So those stops being um, Utopia Parkway, 188th Street, 164th Street, Parsons Boulevard, Main Street, and then Union Turnpike. Queens Boulevard. Um, this would also go with the Q48. For service to Glen Oaks, by the way, you would use the Q48, which is the new, not resembling the Q48 to LaGuardia, but the new Q48, which would go to Glen Oaks. It's just the new number. Alright, so the Q47 is going to avoid a lot of postal turns. A lot. I said postal because I said postal facility. And amount of turns in Jackson Heights. You would use the... Six, for 69th Street right here, you would use the B57, and this route is just a disaster in whole, I know. And then it would go to 23rd Avenue and uh, 94th Street with the Q33 is originally. Um, it would no longer, oh, this is what it's called, Bolova Corporate Center. Uh, but it would serve it from 77th Street, so there's a new buy stop here, so that's why they made that. Uh, also, you have slightly increased service spans on weekends. Alright, so we have mentioned the Q48. Uh, the Q49 is going to remain the same, so some stops would be removed. Uh, frequencies are slightly adjusted in time periods, and service would remain the same. Alright, so the Q50 is uh, was already redesigned in the Bronx for what it is, um, but it's going to continue west on Roosevelt Avenue and go to LaGuardia Airport to replace the lost, the entire routing of the Q48. Um, originally proposed as a select bus route, it's going to be a limited route. It's going to be a limited route, uh, uh, local currently as it is. So it will now run 24, I don't, no, it, no, it, it will run 24 hours. It doesn't currently, but uh, it will provide uh, express and fast service for East Bronx riders to LaGuardia Airport. I think they're going to mention they add, like, I don't know, like, bike racks or something. Probably not. Wait, they do have bike... I'm dumb. Not bike racks. Uh, luggage racks. They could do that. They only have two route... Well, it, it's fine to see, like, bike... It's fine to see, like, luggage racks on the BX-23. It's fine. It's just one... It's just two routes out of that depot. So, they could add, add luggage racks. They're just going to lose the amount of seats there. It's just... It's fine. Anyway, the proposed Q51 would be a new Linden Boulevard route connecting Cambria Heights all the way to Ozone Park. Now, I think they, they had a brilliant idea last time we saw this, which went to Spring Creek Gateway Mall, but they just completely scrapped that. And it's no longer going to be a select bus crosstown route. So, this would be 13 minutes, uh, 13 minutes or better during peak hours and 20 minutes during middays and evenings. Um... This is a new... They never mention anything about weekends. I don't know if this is going to happen on weekends, but hopefully. I think we should have saw it, but I just never paid attention. Alright, so the Q52 and Q53 SBS will maintain its same routing, stops, frequencies, and service spans. Uh, I would have put, put a picture, but I, I, I really wanted to get to the next slides. That's what's happened there. Um... The Q54 maintains a completely straight routing, so I don't think anything would be removed or changed in the Brooklyn bus redesign as well, uh, except for stops or frequencies. Frequencies are going to make be better for 10, minute, 10 minutes or better all day and no span changes. It's still 24 hours, so it would remain the same. Uh, the Q55, as I mentioned earlier, it's just a quick little... Teeny tiny little extension to the 121st Street Station, so I really wouldn't call it an extension. Really, I wouldn't really call it an extension, but whatever you say. Uh, everything would remain the same except for weekday frequencies, which were slightly adjusted, and some small stop spacing. Uh, I'm just telling you right now, I'm not going to say the stop spacing thing. Every single route except for select bus routes are going to get the stop spacing thing. All right, just saying. Just pay it, just, just, just so you know. Uh, the proposed Q56 is going to remain, uh, maintain the same routing, and then, yeah, slight stop spacing, no frequency or service span changes proposed at this time. So the Q58 is going to maintain its same routing, except for stop spacing and all that, uh, but we're going to talk about the Q new Q98, which we'll talk about in about five minutes or so. 
Um, you're going to see the Q58 frequencies are going to be decreased because you're combining it with the new Q98 select bus. Um, the Q59 uh, uh, is going to, uh, as part of both uh, Queens and Brooklyn bus network redesigns, it's going to have both uh, removals in Queens and Brooklyn. So the segment in Roebling Street, Grand Street, all this, uh, Manhattan Avenue, all that, it's going to be discontinued. It's just going to go directly to the plaza. Um, there's also some place, some discontinuation right here near Gardner Avenue, which I don't know about right now because I don't know about this area. But it, if it affects you, just let me know because I'll explain that later. There's also going to be this diverging off um, because here's what's happening. As it turns on Queens Boulevard, it goes on the service road. And to turn left onto Grand, it needs to go on the main road. So I think they're completely removing everything on the service road to go directly on the main road of Queens Boulevard. I think that's what's happening right now. But anyway, nothing about frequency or service span is changing. Alright, so again with the Q32 as well. Uh, in the westbound direction, approaching Queens uh, Borough Bridge, obviously the stops under the plaza are not going to be stopped. Because it's going to go directly onto the bridge. And also, bus stop locations on Queens Boulevard are under further review for the future Department of Transportation Queens Boulevard Capital Project. So, no frequency or service span change that are being proposed at this time. The new Q61 is going to replace the Q34, I, I would say, because it only operates on weekdays. Um, and it will also be more... Uh, provided on Willits Point Boulevard for the Q16. Um, it would only operate on weekdays, and only stops would no stops will be made between 39th Avenue, 138th Street, and Union Street and 26th Avenue. And it will only operate on weekdays. Uh, the Q62 would go via College Point area before going through 20th Avenue to replace Q20A existing and the Q15. So no stops will be made between Main Street and Northern Boulevard and 20th Avenue and 138th Street. Alright, so if you usually take the Q66, you can use the Q63. It's just the new number. So the Q63 would use the entirety of the Q66's original routing, uh, currently routing. So um, service on 35th Avenue and 21st Street is replaced by the Q63. Unfortunately, if you do use service on 35th Avenue or 21st Street, it's not running overnight. I checked it. It's not running overnight. However, the new Q the, the Q66 would have a more direct connection, in, direct routing into Queens Plaza, so by Northern Boulevard. So you're going to see an increase in service as both frequencies are combined. Uh, so you'll see a little bit of a decrease on Q66, but it's going to be it's going to combine together. The Q64 will maintain its existing routing. Some stops will be removed, especially in the Ellichester and uh, Fresh Meadow. I don't know what they call 164th Street. Um, Pomon Oak. Yeah, Pomon Oak area. So there's a lot of stops in between, you know, Main Street, Parsons, and Parsons and Casino. So around that area, there's a lot of stops being removed. And they specifically tell you, but they don't really clearly tell you on bus time. So... Definitely check that out if you don't know which stops. Frequencies are slightly adjusted. Um, the Q65 is going to terminate at Flushing as well as approaching Flushing. There's going to be an alignment. So instead of running on 45th Avenue and Bowman Street, it's going to operate on Sanford Avenue and 162nd Street. So on Sanford Avenue, it, put, it would make local stops for the Q13. The Q13 is going to be a rush route on Sanford Avenue. And it would maintain its same routing. On 164th Street, with some stop removals and freak weekday frequencies, will be slightly reduced to uh, uh, reallocate some service on the Q26. All right, so here's what I meant by the Q66. So it's gonna be a it's not really a rush route here, but it will be. Um, what's happening is it's gonna go directly into Queens Plaza instead of going on 35th Avenue and 21st Street. This would operate all day, but um, no service will be provided on 35th Avenue and 21st Street overnight. Uh, also, no stop on Main Street and Northern Boulevard here. Uh, the Q67 is going to instead not go into uh, 
Court, uh, Queen's Plaza, but it's gonna go near Court Square, where the current B32 terminates. I guess it's to avoid congestion. But uh, all day frequencies, uh, everyday frequencies would be increased, and it's still the same hours operation. The Q68 is a new route that will operate uh, in the B24 Kosciusko Bridge branch, and then you have a new branch uh, on Roosevelt Avenue and Woodside Avenue. This originally went through went to Steinway. I guess I scrapped that too. But it's gonna go to Jackson Heights. It's gonna get like Jackson Heights and Williamsburg. Alright, so the Q Oh, they 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 still have the Q one hundred one, that explains a lot. Okay. So the Q sixty nine is gonna be a rush route, it's gonna go currently where the Q sixty six like terminate uh goes around here, so that's what's happening here. Um and then uh discontinuation of here in 44th Drive and 21st Street. Frequencies are slightly adjusted in some certain time periods, and no span changes are changed are, are proposed. So right after 21st Street and let's broad, I would say Broadway, and then 35th Avenue, and then 41st Avenue, and then your stops near Queensboro Plaza and Queens Plaza. Q70 remains everything the same, still free, everything's going to remain the same, skipping. Um, maintains an existing routing for the Q72. Some stop spacing. Weekday frequencies are going to be slightly adjusted. As I said in the very beginning of this video, the weekday service would start about 5 minutes earlier at 4.55am. Alright, next one is the Q75. Um, so it's going to go on Horace Harding Expressway through the Q30. Uh, slightly spaced, and then 188th, and then on Union Turnpike all the way to Briarwood. So, you got even more service on Union Turnpike now to help out. So, stops at 188th and 73rd, 188th and Union, Union and Utopia, Union and 164th, Union and Parsons, Union and Main, and then Briarwood Station. So the Q76 would not go on 14th Avenue all the way here on, and cross Island Parkway. Instead, just go straight to 20th Avenue. And then it would extend to College Point Boulevard right here and 15th Avenue. This is just the layover right here uh, at 131st Street, so that doesn't count as a discontinu discontinuation. But Sunday AM and PM frequencies are slightly adjusted. Water break. Alright, so the Q77 is going to remain the same and extend a little bit more with some stop, uh, with some rush stops on Hillside Avenue. Those being um, Francis Lewis, 188th, 179th, and 169th, and the terminal. Um, here's the new Q82. Is there anything that changed? Uh, Service spans are slightly adjusted, uh, and frequencies as well, by the way, for the Q77. The Q82 is going to be a new route operating on 212th Street in place, and then go to Belmont Park to replace the Q110 to UBS Arena. I don't know why they did this. They have a Q2 that has the exact same terminal. It just goes on Hollis. So. Oh, by the way, the, um, currently it's going to go on, um, weekday frequencies, so... It would not operate uh, overnight, I assume. That's what's happening here. Alright, the Q83. Um, although it's a rush route, it's going to remain on the local routing through Archer Avenue instead of Liber instead of 160th Street. Now, they never mentioned that the overnight routing on to Queens Village, Long Island Railroad Station, is discontinued. And I have no information at all about this, so I can't really confirm to you that there is service, and I can't confirm you that there won't be service, so I can't really tell you what's happening right now, but there will be service all the way to 227th Street. Um, no stops will be made on the rush route section all the way through 180th Street. No, 177th Street. Uh, so here's the Q84. We're going to talk about the Merrick, the Merrick sisters, or Merrick, Merrick family. Yeah, Merrick family. Um, so there's going to be a major, a minor, uh, sorry, a minor realignment because of the Q84 Limited. And then you've got stops at 
on Merrick Boulevard, some stops. There's Linden Boulevard, uh, 111th, 107th, and I don't know that last one. Anyway, Jamaica Center, Merrick and Liberty, and then Basley Boulevard, 120th Avenue, and Merrick Boulevard. Alright, uh, so the same for the Q85. It's just going to go through 160th Street through your college, and then it's going to go directly to Green Acres, 24-7, not to Rosedale. Um, to Rosedale, you would use the Q86, which we're going to talk about right now. As always, the Q84, Q and Q85 are going to see a decrease in frequencies because you're making room for the Q86 and Q87. Now, the Q86 is going to go all the way to Merrick Boulevard, all the way to Brook, uh, Brookville Boulevard, and then it's going to um, go down 243rd. Now, I know I noticed there's a lot of turns before it, as the Q85 goes on North Conduit all the way to 243rd. I don't know they just drew this better so it makes it look like there's no turns at all. Because it's just like this curve all the way here. So I don't know what's happening there, but on Brookville Boulevard. And then it's going to go on Huxley Street South. And then I think that's going to end at 149th Avenue, which is a little bit of a new section. Um, that's what's happening. And then the Q87 is going to follow the exact same routing of the Q5 Limited down 160th Street. And then it's going to go on Hook Creek Boulevard all the way to the Green Acres. And then the Q88 is going to remain the same except for stop spacing. And yeah, that's it. No frequency or service band. It's going to change at this time. All right, here's the Q98, which is the new routing that I'm going to show you right now. So... This is going to be a faster alternative for Q58 riders traveling to Flushing. So if you're near Elmhurst, you could just directly take the Q98 all the way to Flushing. Um, this would operate nonstop from Queen Center Mall to Flushing, while the proposed Q58 would continue to serve local stops along Corona Avenue and 108th Street. Um, this would the Q98 would only up be located uh, stops would only be located at key destinations and transfer points. Um, You'll see a minor decrease in Q58 service to make room for that, yeah, combination. All right, so the Q100 is discontinued. As alternatives, you can use the B62 and the Q69 on 21st Street. And to and from Rikers Island, use the Q105. Um, so s service east of 20th Avenue or north of 20th Avenue would be replaced by the Q105 before the bridge. Rikers Island Bridge, by the way, um, and then it would, instead of going into Midtown, it would go south on Jackson Avenue to a new location in Long Island City, near the waterfront. Uh, the Q102 is discontinued. Here are some alternatives. You can use the Q18 in Astoria all the way through 30th Avenue, and then use the Q104 or F train on Roosevelt Island, or the Q105 on 31st Street. All right, here's the Q103, slightly adjusted uh, near the Long Island City area to serve 21st Street and then 44th Drive, and then also serve the waterfront and Long Island Railroad, Long Island City Station. <laughs> that was hard to say. Uh, weekday and Saturday frequencies would be slightly adjusted during the midday and... I did not mean to click that. Okay. Uh, how do I... That okay. All right, there we go. I don't know what happened there. All right, um... Oh, I, clicked the, I clicked the speaker notes. I was going to do speaker notes, but then I forgot I had them. Uh, service would continue to operate during those same hours. Alright, uh, so the Q104 is technically an extension because this is just the layover U-turn. That doesn't count as discontinuation, but it's going to continue onto Roosevelt Island. However, uh, existing Q102 service south of the bridge, the Queensboro Bridge, will be discontinued. So... As you remember, the Q102 goes south of the bridge, but it doesn't anymore. It's just going to end at the F train station. Alright. Um, both frequencies are going to be, and span would be increased to resemble the Q102 service. Um, the Q105 is a new route, which would operate between Rikers Island and uh, uh, Long Island City via 31st Street. Um, so the Q110 would discontinue its 179th Street trips during the day 
uh, during the uh, during the morning and afternoon, and also trips to Belmont Park, but would introduce a new location to the Floral Park Long Island Railroad Station, a new area unlocked. Why did I do that? I'm so sorry. Um, to match, yeah, uh, some stop spacing and continue to operate 24 hours. Weekday frequencies are slightly uh, decreased because of the 179th Street subway trips. Um, now the Q111 is going to maintain its same stops. No stops will be made uh, along Brewer Boulevard in certain areas, most. Uh, but the morning trip to Cedarhurst and the trip back to Jamaica uh, in the afternoon will be maintained. So you can use them. No stops will be removed in Nassau County. Um, but you'll see some frequencies decrease to make room for the Q115, which will make local stops along Brewer Boulevard, north of Farmers Boulevard, and service will continue to operate 24 hours. So the Q112 would extend a little bit west, all the way to Euclid Avenue via the Q7, so it would maintain the same routing on the Q7 for Sutter Avenue and Pitkin Avenue, all the way to the Euclid Avenue AC station, which is accessible. Alright, so the Q113 is a continued. No problem, just use the Q114. So, same with this. So, certain stops. Um, I believe the, the routing on 160th Street and Liberty Avenue would be discontinued. Alright, and then the new Q115 would provide frequent service north of Farmers Boulevard. Uh, frequencies actually increase because you have because it's resembling existing Q113 and Q114 service. Uh, and then you got your Q115. I don't know if this is articulated. This could be. I think this should be because Brewer Boulevard's kind of congested. I also forgot to do this, but I should have predicted the new routes depots, but depots. But I'll probably do that in the future, like the day before the redesign happens. I'll probably do it. Uh, so the B-53 is a new route that will operate between Sunnyside 46th Street Station and Broadway Junction via Williamsburg. So overnight, it would only operate... Oh, I just... Okay, my bad. I just I have to, cl I have to stop clicking these random buttons. I'm so sorry. Um, so the B-53 would travel under the J train during at all times, and during the day it would operate... Uh, via Williamsburg up to Greenpoint and up to Sunnyside in Queens. Overnight, this service will only operate between the Bridge Plaza and Broadway Junction, which is kind of ridiculous because they have the J train under above it, so that's weird how they did that. But here we go, the B57, so it's going to extend a little bit north to Jackson Heights Roosevelt Avenue via 69th Street. And then it's also, uh, the B62 and B57 are swapped in Brooklyn, so the B-57 is going to operate on Park instead, and the B-62 is going to operate on Flushing. Uh, and also, there's no service south of... I ha I don't know downtown Brooklyn, I'm so sorry. South of downtown Brooklyn. So uh, you would use the B-27, which is not existing right now. It's a new route that is proposed in the, Bro in the Brooklyn bus redesign, but I'm not revisiting. I'm not visiting that right now. So as I said, uh, some changes in... Um, Williamsburg to replace, uh, to like reduce the amount of turns. Uh, obviously that's going to be replaced by the B forty three, um, and as well as in Long Island City the Q one hundred one. It would just go directly into Astoria, and then some route changes because to reduce the amount of turns in um, Williamsburg, and it would operate on Flushing Avenue, not Park Avenue, and um, overnight. By the way, the B-62 will serve York Street and Vinegar Hill via Navy Street and Gold Street. I don't know what that is. I assume that's near the Navy Yard. So overnight, it would serve this part. All right, here we go with the express routes. Uh, so first of all, the QM2 is discontinued. Um, here is something I do want to mention. I didn't actually get this far yet because I, I, I ran out of time. I thought I was going to finish this in one hour. The QM7, the QM8, QM11, the QM25, and the QM65. A new stop will be added at East 34th Street and 1st Avenue, just so you know. This will be another Midtown alternative. Um, I'm just going to go through the basics, the main thing, main things I saw, because I was skimming through this. 
but the QM212 and the QM42 will be shortened to Yellowstone Boulevard and Juno. I don't know if it's Juno or Juno, but whatever, because of low ridership. Uh, the QM17 will see a, ma a minor realignment. Instead of going on Beach 73rd Street and Beach Channel Drive, it will travel along Beach 59th Street and Beach... Wait a second, what was those? It was uh, The point is, it's going to follow the B... B, the B um, not, not, not the Q52. So a little bit in Arvern here. Alright, so the QM6 and QM36 are no longer making stops west of 188th Street and going directly into Express to Manhattan um, on Union Turnpike. Uh, there's an X label change with the, QM, with the X63, the X64, and the X68 uh, to avoid confusion. And, you know, they're... You know, the MTA is getting rid of the X label now uh, because of, you know, they got to be more specific with the boroughs, um, replacing it with QM currently. Um, so there, the QM 63, 64, and 68 Midtown routing change will follow uh, the current QM 21's routing on Madison Avenue and East 23rd Street instead of going up to 42nd Street or 57th Street and down to 23rd Street. Here's what's happening with the QM63, 64, and 65 in Queens. Um, so the QM63, it's going to avoid some, um, you know, some, uh, uh, what's, uh, avoid a difficult turn. Yeah, a difficult turn. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, near Hook Creek Boulevard and Francis Lewis Boulevard, all that. Um, so it's going to go down Hook Creek Boulevard and then go normal routing. Um, the QM64 is going to extend into Elmont via Elmont Road. Um, so, weekday AM peak frequencies are going to be slightly reduced from low, to, low ridership, but uh, service spans are going to be slightly adjusted based on that. Um, the Q4 is not going to extend into Elmont, by the way, just the QM64. Uh, the QM65 is the exact same thing with uh, the downtown loop, is how that's going to work. Um, the new routing is going to go on Van Buick Expressway, Linden Boulevard, Brewer Boulevard, 137th Avenue. I think this is Baisley Boulevard. And then on to Merrick Boulevard. And then and near 233rd Street, I think. So a similar path with the QM 60, 21 and 63, but it's just going to go down to downtown. And that's it. Um, by the way, one more thing I want to mention is that all routes are... All route directions are, are like, right after the... All routes are, like, going to go on the upper level of the Queensboro Bridge. And then they're going to go on to... What's it called? Um, Give me a map right now. Give me a map. Uh, Thompson Avenue. And then Van Damme Street onto the LIE. Um, some routes right now, like the routes that go on Northern Boulevard, which is the QM2, QM3, QM20, QM32, which go on Northern Boulevard. Um would go on the, um, what's it called? Uh, the Northern Boulevard, yeah. Uh, some express trips are actually instructed to go on the Brooklyn Queens Expressway, which is kind of different. Um, as well as, you know, Queens Boulevard with the QM1, the Union Turnpike routes, and then you have your X63, X68. All routes are now instructed to go on, the routing is supposed to go on the LIE. Um, that could change though, because of, you know, traffic, but if I was driving it, I would just check for traffic before I leave and start my sh start my shift. But whatever, I don't know what they what they're gonna do with that. But uh, if you have any questions, you should share with the comments down below. Obviously, the MTA is not gonna be able to read it. But if it's an answer that if it's a question that I can definitely answer, I will answer. Or you can answer it uh, answer someone else's uh, question. But that's it for me. I don't know how long this video is gonna be is is gonna be. I've been sitting here for one hour straight talking so you're welcome have a wonderful day and any questions concerns comments others share it in the comments down below